hello youtube welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me i am extremely excited about this particular video because i was tagged for this video um i'm very thankful very appreciative so i was tagged by the awesome youtuber by the name of be fabulous with me irene and i will definitely link her page down below so you guys can go ahead and go visit there see what kind of beautiful pieces that she has um and subscribe to her channel all right so I will also tag a few people to do the same thing, but the tag video is your least, most used, and cutest handbag, all right? So we're just going to get started. We're going to jump right in. It's going to be a fairly short video because I am not going to go into like the dimensions or anything like that. Just kind of like talk a little bit about the bags, why it's the most um, used, why it's the least used, and why I consider it to be the cutest bag, all right? So without further ado, you guys, here we go. All right, so starting off with my most used bag, um, it's going to actually be my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier, and um, that is actually going to be in the um, Damir Ibn print all right and I know you guys have seen me with um, a few bags um, lately but this is actually really tell you the truth my most used bag um, and that's because it is actually completely versatile um, it's very convenient it has a strap which I love so I can definitely use it as a crossbody it holds so much um, right now I currently have right now I currently have of course an air bubble paper in here and I also have an organizer in here so I kind of use that to keep the shape but um, again and the strap is kind of like below there as you can see right through the bubble but this bag is really convenient I love the red interior um, you know of course as you guys all know it's a very popular bag um, I'm sure almost everyone has it um, but again for the most part it is just really convenient if I want to either hold it crook of my arm hold it like a top handle or I just hold it with the um, straps as a crossbody or even a shoulder bag so that's where the versatility comes in but again I normally always gravitate to this bag and it's just easy to kind of put things in there and because I have the organizer in there everything just goes in there like completely effortlessly so that is my most used my most used I know I've seen some people actually have like two um, honestly right now I only have this one because I literally like I said always gravitate to this bag because it's just completely convenient for me um, and I love it and I'm so glad I actually got it so I don't care if it's overly populated too popular you know everybody's tired of it it really is a convenient bag so a lot of times I'll kind of like dress it up a little bit but for the most part sometimes I just grab and go with it all right so most used there you have it <sighs> okay so next I'm going to go into my least used bag and that is actually going to be my Chanel double flap and I know you're probably thinking it's a Chanel why would it be your least used um, and there's nothing really truly wrong with the bag itself as to why it's the least used I think the biggest thing really is the fact that a lot of times I don't really have too many places to go to take this beauty sometimes I really don't even care because I'll just go to the mall and take it and I'm good to go but for the most part you know it's a Chanel double flap so you already know it cost <laughs> A good deal and I don't want anything to happen to it so I think most of it is really just I'm just too afraid to take it out but honestly for the most part the times that I have taken it out I had color transfer on it so I think that's the most that that's the part that irritates and scares me the most whereas you know I'm not gonna be able to get it out but luckily the thing is with this particular bag I got it from Nordstrom's no I got it from Neiman Marcus, the boutique in Neiman Marcus, the Chanel boutique in Neiman Marcus. That's where I got it from. So the good thing about it is if you get color transfer on it, 
you could actually take it back. So I took it back to Neiman Marcus, took it back to the boutique. They actually send it off. Um, so they'll send it off. They'll see if they can repair it kind of like in-house at Neiman Marcus. Um, if they can't, then they send your bag off to Chanel. I don't know what Chanel could be Chanel in Paris, could be Chanel in New York. I really don't know, but I will insert some pictures um, of the color transfer. on this bag and if you kind of look you don't see anything it literally is perfect from like the day I got it so I was so happy about that I think I had one little mark that was inside the bag and they took that out also so this bag is literally beautiful of course you see the double flap right there if you hear the dog in the background do not worry about that you guys but I also have an insert in here as well to kind of keep the shape because I don't put anything inside here by itself. So a little bit of paper and um, it's good to go, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, Chanel is like Hermes, you know, it is an investment piece. So whether I give this to my kids or I decide I want to sell it because I want to get something different, um, it's a classic bag that can go on and on and on it's timeless you know so either which way it's not to say that i don't like the bag itself i adore this bag it was actually you know a christmas gift so i adore it even more it's just that i think i'm more afraid of the color transfer because it is a neutral um color bag so okay so my next least favorite bag is actually going to be this Gucci Marmont shoulder bag um, and the bag itself is gorgeous I think it's my least favorite as of right now just for a few obvious reasons <laughs> but for the most part if anyone actually has this bag the bag is a cute bag I really do love it and I think honestly to tell you the truth I've seen the Louis Vuitton mini luggage bag and this is kind of give me or the luggage bag the Louis Vuitton luggage bag is kind of giving me the vibes of this small um, Marmont bag um, because they kind of open up sort of in the same way if you can see um, this bag I think is definitely much bigger but either which way honestly my only gripe with this particular bag is the straps which are completely gorgeous, which is a Sylvie Webb um, strap. It hooks on like so. So if you can see it, what you do is you pinch that open just like that, and then you hook it on. But since I purchased this bag, there has literally been almost every other time I wear this bag, the straps. Who is it? All right, so literally every other time I wear this bag, the strap actually just comes off and the bag falls. So imagine you just walking and the bag just comes on hook and it just falls to the um, ground. That is completely irritating. So that is one of the reasons why it's right now my least favorite bag to um, wear. So, but either which way, that is my second least favorite used bag. All right, so there you have it. So I have two cutest handbags and I really love them. I think they're completely adorable. So I'm gonna start with um, my latest pickup that I got as part of my birthday haul, but um, it is my MCM patent leather shoulder bag. All right, so. I definitely talked about this bag on my birthday haul because I compared it to um, the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and I think it's completely cute, completely adorable. I love the color contrast, like this blue with this lime green and this black is completely adorable. It does have a strap and that's why you see these little hooks here. It is inside, but it's adorable. It does um, kind of have that similar look of the Pochette Matisse and that's why I compared it to it because you have the same opening. So this right here is just, I love this bag. I use this bag a lot once I got it because this bag is literally so easy to open. Um, so again, you open it like this, this lime color is beautiful. You do have it to wear um, compartment one, compartment two, there's a strap as you can see. You do have a flat 
opening that's just a booklet for the care instructions um, and then you also have a zipper compartment however when you go in as soon as you open it you do have another flat pocket that's right here and I kind of just put my phone right there so this bag is adorable this bag is cute and again I love this bag and that's why this is one of my cutest bags um, that I love and I own all right so there you have that all right, so my next bag is actually going to be my Kate Spade camera bag. And for obvious reasons, this is one of my cutest handbags. And it is, of course, a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag, and you can use it as either and it does have adjustable strap the straps are not removable um and that's my only flaw with this particular bag that i can't remove the straps because i can easily use it as a cute little clutch but that's okay and the way you open it you just lift the top and you get whatever you need inside here so it doesn't fit a lot so i really don't use it that often but nonetheless it's cute it has this cute adorable little secret pocket um, which is the lens of course so you have it to where you can snap that but this bag is adorable it's completely cute I love it and that's why this is gonna be considered my cutest or one of my cutest handbags so I love it um, it's definitely a conversational piece and I think I'm definitely gonna have this for a long time and whenever I go to like a function or anything like that and I just want like a quirky little piece I will definitely pull this out and use this but I do get compliments on this whenever I use it it's adorable like I said but for the most part my phone doesn't fit in here but I do have um, card holder that goes in here I have my key pouch um, I have my six ring key holder that goes in here and I always try to slip in a pen and probably like a little piece of paper or whatever so it fits the the essentials it fits the essentials so when I say it fits the essentials it fits literally the only important things that you need and if it's not your card holder your keys or whatever then you are not taking this bag out but again it's just kind of like a night on the town type bag and that's really what it is but again this is cute I love it it's adorable and it's like a little, you know, tiny, old school looking camera, or whatever. So that's why I love it. But there you have it, you guys. That is it. That is my most used, my least used, and my cutest handbag. All right. So um, again, I definitely want to thank Be Fabulous With Me, Irene, for tagging me in this video. I truly do appreciate that. These tag videos are always awesome very cute very adorable it's fun to see what other people consider to be you know their least their use um you know most worn you know piece or whatever like that so i like it i watch these videos all the time and i am very appreciative and very happy to actually be a part of one so i am going to actually tag a few youtubers in this video so that way they can kind of tell you what their most used least used and cutest handbag is and i will also leave their youtube channels below and um go ahead and look at their channel subscribe to them and just kind of like go from there but definitely like you guys if you like anything you saw if you have the same things that i have um or if you just want to comment, all right? So comment, like, share, and definitely subscribe, all right? So either which way, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you liked what you saw. And if you did, subscribe, all right? Tell your friends, tell your family, you know, tell your coworkers. Doesn't matter. Go ahead and subscribe. And I will post this pretty soon. And look out, like I said, for three videos a week. And I'm trying to keep that schedule of a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Saturday. If not, I think it might definitely be a Wednesday, Thursday, and a Saturday. Um, so I'm trying to turn out that content for you guys. And I know I always do the what's in my bags or my bag reveals and stuff like that. So I think pretty soon I do have an event coming up. So I'm definitely going to try to vlog. So that'll be my first vlog, official first vlog. And I'm going to take you guys along. All right. So I will let you know what I'm doing and I'll post it and I'll tell you guys about it. And I'll probably throw some things up Instagram. So if you follow me there, go ahead and check that out as well. All right. But I guess that's it. So hopefully you like what you saw. And if you did subscribe, like, come on, subscribe. All right. So again, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.